Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Lana from AWS, and today we're talking to Santosh from Mahindra Electric. Welcome. Hi, Lana. Great to be here. Awesome having you here. Could you tell us more about Mahindra Electric? Absolutely. Mahindra Electric is part of $21 billion Mahindra Group. We are actually the pioneers in electric vehicle technology and sustainable transportation in India. So we design, develop, and manufacture all the components of an electric vehicle. At the same time, we actually have mobility solutions as one of the key pillars of our business strategy. So we have a platform called NEMO, which stands for Next Generation Mobility, uh, through which we offer connected, shared, and electric services to our customers. And the entire platform is hosted on AWS. Great, let's dive in. So I'm seeing here an electric vehicle. So how does it communicate to the platform? Yeah, look, we have electric vehicles, which is actually three wheelers as well as four wheelers in our portfolio today. All of these electric vehicles actually share a lot of data or push a lot of data to uh, cloud, and the starting point is our uh, load balancer. Uh, this goes over MQTT or TCP IP and various other protocols that we are actually enabling. And this is where the load balancer into, uh, takes the data and pushes it to the broker and finally to Kinesis. Got it. So we have a broker running on an EC2 instance uh, that later on pushes data into a Kinesis stream? That's correct. And for us, I think in the whole architecture, data reliability is actually the key. So we actually store the data at least for three days in Kinesis, and we do a lot of uh, processing of the data, uh, which is in Kinesis. And there are two kinds of processing that we actually do. So one, for example, if we have vehicle alerts coming into Kinesis, we actually have uh, uh, Lambda uh, picking up the data, and in this case, let's say a geofencing alert came from the vehicle and because the vehicle moved out of a particular area, and that has to be notified all the way to the fleet operator immediately. So in that case, the Lambda picks up that event, sends it to SNS, and finally to the fleet operator who's sitting and monitoring the fleets here. At the same time, the rest of the data, which is coming in from Kinesis, goes through the Lambda and finally gets stored in S3. Great. So not only do we uh, take actions that need to be taken in a time-sensitive manner, but we can also analyze the rest of the data that is flowing into the S3 bucket. So this is looking to me like a, a pretty great data lake. Is that how you're using S3 and Athena services? Exactly. You know, we use S3 as the single source of truth for all our data scientists. In fact, uh, just to give you a scale, we actually have around 175 million e-kilometers of data, and that's terabytes of data being stored in uh, S3 today. And would you mind telling us what eight kilometers are? Absolutely. You know, the fact that the whole architecture is, is actually for electric vehicles, we are talking about electric kilometers done um, from this architecture, and then all of those data is actually stored in S3. So we have terabytes and terabytes of data, uh, data in S3. So how are we using Glue to catalog and organize this data? Look, we need to uh, extract a lot of intelligence uh, coming from the data because the data includes battery-related data, uh, uh, you know, data around charging and so on. So Glue is actually used to uh, scan the data, curate the data, and do transformations on the data, and we store it back into S3 in this case. So basically, let me take an example here. Um, in the case of, uh, for our fleet operators, we provide something called driver rating um, uh, for each of the drivers. And in that case, a driver rating algorithm is running, and the glue picks up the relevant data, uh, creates a driver rating report, and then puts it back into S3. And finally, all of this data is actually sent using Athena back to our fleet operators using a variety of uh, insights given through dashboards. So this way our fleet operators have a single pane of glass to see the immediate alerts they have to take action on and also some of the insights on driver's performance, battery data, et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely. And they have all of this at their fingertips, which helps them improve their fleet utilization and improve their operations. Great. Santosh, thank you so much for coming today and telling us about Mahindra Electric and the platform you've built on AWS. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. This is my architecture.